Welcome to the Guitar Resource Podcast, practice topics for the beginning and intermediate guitarist. Hello and welcome to this episode. We're going to continue talking about the capo. And today we'll use the E chord as our example chord. And what we'll do is we'll take the E chord and we will play it throughout the neck using the capo. So we'll begin with the first finger on the third string, first fret, second finger on the fifth string, second fret, third finger on the fourth string, second fret. And we can strum all the strings with this one. Okay, so our pitch names are E, B, E, G sharp, B, and E. Okay, so we're thinking about those. So what I'm going to do is, is keep using those three notes. And uh, we'll just arrange them a little differently. And we'll use a, a familiar shape. So this is the open D shape. And we're putting the capo here on the second fret. Okay, so we use the D shape. And we have an E chord. Okay, so if we want to um, compare this with the uh, open chord, sort of remember that sound, we'll take the capo off and we'll play the E. So it's voiced a bit differently, uh, but we have the same overall sound. But if we take a, a listen to the low few notes here of our original chord, just the sixth string, fifth, fourth, and the third, we're not including there the uh, first two strings. If we compare that to what we have with the, the D chord. We have the same four notes, but we're an octave higher. Okay, so E, B, E, G sharp. E, B, E, G sharp, an octave lower, the open. All right, so let's, let's see if we can find another spot. So we have the open E chord. Next up, we'll put the capo on the fourth fret. Okay, and so we have a C shape now. Okay, so uh, first finger on the second string, first fret, second finger on the fourth string, second fret, and third finger on the fifth string, third fret, all uh, with the capo on the fourth fret. So the, the fourth fret is counting as zero at this point. Okay, so we have the uh, E chord. We're using the C shape. Why don't we compare that to our open E chord? So what we'll find is that from the fifth string here, we'll have these same four notes, E, G sharp, B, E, and we'll find those on, on the E chord starting with the fourth string. Okay, so E, G sharp, B, E. So that's that same uh, voicing. And then with the uh, fourth fret, we also have another note here on the first string. Okay. All right, well, let's back up and look at the E chord again. So we're going to build up the neck here. Well, next up, we're going to go to the seventh fret with the capo. And we'll, we'll play the A shape. Okay, so uh, capo, seventh fret. Now we have a uh, fist string open, first finger on the 
fourth string, second finger on the third string, third finger on second string, all second fret and first string open. Okay, so this is an E chord. And if we take the capo off, compare it with the open E. Okay, what we find is that we have um, in that uh, seventh position, we have these notes one octave higher. So I'm playing the low six strings or the low five strings rather. And now if we put the capo on, seventh fret, and play the A shape, we'll have the top five strings, so we have that those same notes an octave higher. Okay, so back on the E, so a lot of exercise here, moving back and forth. We have the E chord. So we'll go over uh, one more spot here. So capo on the ninth fret, and we'll play the uh, open G shape. And so we have the E chord here. So I have second finger on the fifth string, second fret, third finger on the sixth string, third fret, fourth finger on the first string, third fret. Okay, so this is very similar to uh, the voicing here on uh, fourth string with uh, another note there, E again. But let's compare it to uh, the open E chord. So it's uh, just like the top four strings of the open E. here on the uh, ninth fret. So I'll compare those here. So hopefully you hear that those are the same pitches. And then we have two more notes up here to work with as well. Okay, so we've uh, compared uh, some of the chords, I'm just going to kind of briefly go through and try this out without a capo. So we have the E shape, D shape without a capo. I'm using the first finger over here. C shape, the uh, A shape in bar form, and then the G shape. And if we went up a little further, we'd find this, kind of like the original E shape. So once we get to the 12th fret, we're repeating our shapes an octave higher. Great, so hopefully uh, that makes sense and uh, we can tie things together. So learning one chord throughout out the neck and you don't necessarily have to play uh, these particular voicings, you can play uh, three note groups or uh, just combinations of um, what we're looking, looking at there. So it doesn't always have to be uh, this a particular shape. Sometimes these voicings are a little tough to get to. So you can uh, pick out a few from them. All right, great. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this talk. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I'll try to get back that back to you on that. And uh, please do visit the uh, website, guitar-resource.com. Uh, Thanks again. Have a great week of practice. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Guitar Resource Podcast. Be sure to rate and subscribe. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.